How do you do? This is Mayor Hawthorne. AKA Haircut. You got the uh, Strange Arrangement. This is a new album with new classic songs. It That's sounds correct. like classic songs, but they're all new. There's one cover on the album, uh, Maybe So, Maybe No, is a cover of a, of a classic. Yeah. But uh, everything else was written by yours truly and produced and played and arranged. And now, what instruments are you playing on the album? Uh, I play the majority of the instruments on the record. Um, you know, I play drums, bass, keys. You know, I'm not a great guitar player, but certain certain songs I, I played the guitar, but... Now, a strange arrangement and just the going into the uh, whole front man doing the soul thing, and you're basically doing a, a Trent Reznor here. You're playing all the instruments. How'd that album come about? Like, it wasn't something you planned from what I heard. No, uh, definitely not. Um, I never even planned to record an album of soul music. I mean, it was literally an experiment on the side that I was doing for fun. Yeah. I was I was a hip hop DJ and producer, you know. I still am. And um, you know, those two demo tracks that I put together strictly for fun. I never intended for those songs to ever be released. That just ain't working out. So. Just ain't gonna work yeah. out. And when I said goodbye, the two tracks yeah. that were on the first single, those were the and at the time those were the only two songs I had ever done. Yeah. And uh, Peanut Butter Wolf, he heard those songs and he he said man you gotta record a whole album for Stone's Throw and you know you can't you can't say no to that you know he's Stone's Throw is they're they're legendary I mean, now how did he end up listening to those tracks I met him at a party in, in LA when I moved out there and uh, got introduced to him by a really close friend of mine who I had played the Mayor Hawthorne songs for I mean those those were the only people that had he even heard those songs were like my closest friends and family and you know I never never anticipated that those songs would ever be released to the public or yeah. you know let alone by Stone's Throw or like you know it, it just was never my game plan you know I was I was focused on hip-hop well what was Peanut Butter Wolf's first reaction when he heard your demo his first reaction was that he didn't understand what it was and then his second reaction was that he didn't believe what it was. And then... That was kind of my first reaction. And then his third reaction was, holy shit, you got to do an album for Stone's Throw. So that's how I ended up here. Now, does he have his hands in the process much, or is he mostly you? He is the ultimate label boss. I mean, he is unbelievably supportive and really gives me you know, absolute freedom to do all the kinds of creative things that I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to press my single on a red heart. Yeah. Okay, done. Let's oh. do it. I wanted gator skin, you know, texture on my double LP. You know, he, all right, <laughs> bet. Let's do it. And this is in a this is in a music industry that is hurting right now. Right. You want gator skin I, and heart shaped vinyl. And you know, <laughs> requests were granted. You know, so it, it says a lot about Peanut Butter Wolf and you know the whole Stone's Throw crew. What about an, another Mayor Hawthorne? Is this is this gonna be it, or are we gonna see? Oh no, a yeah, I've, to this? I've already got songs written. Oh for really? The next album, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're ready to go. Yeah, it don't stop. We're just gonna keep doing it bigger and better. You know, baby. Is there a certain female that some of these songs are uh, inspired by? I'll, I'm gonna say this. I'm not gonna get <laughs> too into my personal life, okay. but, you know, in the details of it. But yeah. I will say that, you know, nearly everything on the record is, you know, at least loosely based on, you know, real personal experiences okay. in my life, you know, with relationships and whatnot. And, you know, it's genuine, like. It may, it may certainly be embellished, you know, to make a better song out of it, you know, but it's, it all, it all comes from, from real life shit, you know, whether I witnessed it, you know, firsthand from, from a good homie of mine or, you know, whether I went through it myself, you know, it's all, it's all at least based on, on true life. Now is Mayor Hawthorne tied down right now, or can the women of UndergroundHipHop.com? I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like James Brown and <laughs> said, I'm, I'm single and looking to mingle. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, see, there you go. So, <laughs> so as as my friend Sarah puts it, what are your DBs? What makes it what what just ain't gonna work out? What just doesn't work for Mayor Hawthorne? A woman who drinks five days a week, a woman with a kid. I mean, are there deal breakers here? Can we just? Uh, cigarettes is a deal breaker for me. <laughs> it, even though I'm extremely hypocritical, it's a deal breaker. <laughs> it's not attractive as a female, you know for. For me, anyway, um, you know, I think like my main deal breaker is usually like you need to have your own thing, like have your own interests and goals and an agenda, and and then I'm there for you. You know, if they can't you know, just be a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> it's um. That, I mean, that's really my main thing. Like. Be, be your, you know, have your own agenda. Band styles. Yeah, yeah, give me one second here. I gotta do a little drop. Can yeah. I give like a fan shout out? Yeah, one, yeah, one second. second. I would love to do that. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be great. Give me, give me a second here. I'll take, I'll take my pants off. <laughs> That'd be great. I'm sure everybody would love that.